I'm here with Tess and Sydney from a suburb right outside of Houston, and we get to hear their story today. So first, tell us your ages and what school you go to and what grade you're in. I'm Sydney. I'm 15, and I'm a freshman in high school, and I go to the Academy of Science and Technology, and that's a magnet school that focuses on math, science, and technology. I'm Tess, and I'm 14. I'm in 8th grade at a school called McCullough Junior High School. Awesome. So tell us about your experience with Girl Scouts. You just, both of you launched and founded a website recently, and tell us a little bit about that. Well, we've been involved in Girl Scouts for eight years. About a year ago, we learned some news about Girl Scouts, and we figured out that they were actually in part, they had a partnership with Planned Parenthood, and they also have support other various pro-choice, pro-abortion um, organizations through women. They, they hold those role models up to girls that are our age and younger sometimes. Younger. We have information about the different role models that Planned Parenthood has. Many of them are very pro-choice, pro-abortion, including Betty Friedan, the co-founder of NARAL. She mm -hmm. served on a Girl Scout board for 12 years, and this was back in the 70s. So Girl Scouts, this has been going on with them a long time, and so many people don't know. They had um, a patch for seniors that, until recently on their website, they directed girls, if they were pregnant or thought they would be or had a friend that was, to go to a website called stayteen.org, which then encouraged those girls to go to Planned Parenthood. How many years were you involved with Girl Scouts? Have you been involved? Eight years. You were involved. Yeah, eight years. Wow. What, did you, what did you do when you found out? <laughs> well, immediately we took a mini action and we decided to quit the organization. We didn't want to support them any longer in name or financially because we were giving money to them. and so. And then recently, well, Sydney had written a letter informing some people in our church, where, in the Catholic Church, and then just um, a couple days ago, we launched our website, speakingonegirlscouts.com, to just let everyone know that Girl Scouts aren't really who we think they are. What are some things that you would encourage other Girl Scouts and other people to do about this? Well, I think that if you know a Girl Scout or you know any Girl Scout families, then you should definitely tell them because even if they might agree with what Girl Scouts is doing, they need to know. And then I would also encourage girls to talk to their clergy about this and just to talk to them and see if they have any recommendations for whether they can stay in the organization or whether it'd be best to leave. And then also I would just really encourage them to pray about this. I'm very proud of you for your website and for going out and being unafraid to expose the truth. So keep it up. It's a pleasure to get to meet both of you. Thank you. Thank you.